tents are coming down. The old war tents in South Phoenix will no longer make up the decades old tent city jail. Sheriff Paul Penzone calls it a circus, something former Sheriff Joe Arpaio doesn't appreciate. ABC 15's John Erickson is live outside tent city for us. And John, the inmates you're talking with are split. Katie, some inmates don't mind Tent City. Some can't wait to see it shut down. They don't like the heat, the smell. These are the actual tents behind me here, and after 24 years, they'll soon disappear. The parking lot pastime is one last smoke before it's time to go back, back for another night at Tent City. Not fun. <laughs> Not fun at all. Adam Arley is in for a year for a drug conviction. He gets out during the days for a work program. Hopes the place shuts down before the summer. I don't want to be stuck out in the heat. He might not be. Sheriff Paul Penzone announcing the nights here are numbered, announcing that Tent City will close. This facility became more of a circus atmosphere for the general public. Starting today, that circus ends and these tents come down. I think he's insulting all the circus people. That's disgusting calling that a circus. Former Sheriff Joe Arpaio says that when it closes, they will never, never be put up again. Never. Says Phoenix wouldn't allow the tents to go back up. The city wouldn't issue the required permit. And that's sad. So you can start sp spending millions and millions of dollars for new jails when you have tents very cost effective. But for now, the vacancy neon still buzzes. There's still room for Louis Vildosola as he walks back from work release. And what are you in for, Louis? I'm in for a DUI. Prefers the open air to the cold concrete of a regular cell. I think it's better than being locked up. But Penzone says his lockup will soon no longer look like this. And the inmates who live here now will be moved to other jails. Penzone says that there is room. Half will be moved within about two months. It will all be shut down within about six months. Penzone says it will save about $4.5 million a year. For his part, Arpaio says he doesn't buy that. Reporting live outside Tent City Jail tonight, John Erickson, ABC 15, Arizona. John, thank you. Tent City, a temporary home to a number of celebrities who broke the law. Mike Tyson doing time in 2007. Charles Barkley following suit two years later and Mark Grace doing the same in 2013, all serving time in jail for DUI charges. Right after Sheriff Paul Penzone took office, he actually conducted a survey of inmates at Tent City, asking them if they prefer being held in the tents versus indoors. Most answered they liked being outside instead of being confined inside. But as it turns out, that wasn't enough to save the facility. New tonight, it appears some of the change at Tent City already in the works. Look at this. We got an error message when trying to view the jail's page on MCSO's website. We asked you on our ABC 15 Facebook page, should Tent City be shut down? Thousands of you already responding, and if you haven't yet, we invite you to do the same. Joe